Hi, this is Handy Doctor. In about four videos, I am going to show you the PCV system and especially the notorious PCV system on the GM Ecotech engine, what the problem is and how to fix it. However, today's video is not engine specific. I just want to tell you how to check the PCV system to make sure that it actually works. Now, it's okay you do not know what it is, and it's not so important for today. All you need to know are three things. First, gasoline or diesel engine all have a PCV system one way or the other. Second, unlike the old times, it's very difficult for many cars to service the PCV system. A lot more difficult than before at least. In the old time, there is a valve you can easily replace. Third, if the PCV system get clocked badly, you could run into many issues. In some extreme case, especially in the winter time, you could end up in thousand dollars of repair bill. So you definitely want to check regularly. And it's something everybody can do. Uh, I already have my hook open. I'll even take out the dick stick, uh, as a matter of fact. Um, if you do not know how to do that, check your owner's menu. And you don't need any tool, you just need a small piece of paper, plain paper, cut it one inch square more or less, and paper towel that too, you can cook your thick stick on. Okay. The first thing we do is, let's look at the oil cap, and yes, every car must have an oil cap to add oil into it, engine oil. Just take it out and look. See, it is clean. Now, sometimes you may see a lot of oil and water mixture on the oil cap. I will show you a picture how it looks like at the upper right corner. If that is the case, it's a good indication that the PCV system is bad. Or, in fact, it could be much worse than just the PCV system. Honestly, tell you. The PCV system is the easy part and the least expensive part if you see a lot of oil and water mixture in the oil cap. It is clean in this way and like I said, I will show you a picture I took before as a comparison. Okay, so that's the first thing to check. Second one, we will do the paper test and to do that, we need to start the engine. So I'm going to start the engine and we will do that test. So now the engine is running and I'm going to put this piece of paper on top of the big stick hole. Now what it means is this, if the PCV system is working, the hole should have vacuum. So this piece of paper will stick on it. I know you couldn't see it from the main video, so I'm going to get my cell phone also to take the cell phone video with it. So now let's look, here it is. So here is my piece, uh, the thick stick hole, and I'm going to put the piece of paper on it. And because of the vacuum, it sticks on it, as a matter of fact, pretty well. You can even move it slightly around, and you can tell it sticks. Okay, so I am going to turn off the engine and we're going to see a comparator. See, it stick there, doesn't go anywhere. So now the engine is off, and let's try to do the same. Put the piece of paper on it. 
It draw up. It doesn't stick. So, if your paper can stick on the thick stick hole when the engine is running, that tell you a good sign that your PCV system, in fact, is working. Uh, so that's the second test. I will show you a video I took from a while ago. When it goes so bad that not only there is no vacuum, uh, some smoke coming up from the thick stick hole. And I will put the video within this main video and you will see the difference as a matter of fact. So these are how to check to make sure that your PCV system in fact work properly. Uh, like I said, look at the oil cap, get a piece of paper, check for vacuums on the thick stick hole. If you have a lot of oil, water, mixture in the oil cap and there is no vacuums, or if you know how to do it yourself, go for it. If not, ask somebody to help you to check the PCV system. Uh, it's a single system, supposedly, but it could do a lot of damage when it goes back. And hopefully this video is helpful for you. And like I said, I am going to take several more videos talk about the PCV system. Um, please stay tuned. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.